Welcome everybody back to another Bullcast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Naruto episode 117. What happened last time? Last time was Neji's fight with Spider-Man. There was a giant spider. There was a lot. Uh, there was a lot of things dropping from the sky. Turns out Neji has a blind spot, mm -hmm. and um, Spider Guy was able to find that blind spot. And now he has a bunch of the little, um, things. They're not arrows, but, uh, and they're not knives, but they're the spider, spider guy's sharp things. I think, th which ones are you talking about? The ones that are like arrows or the ones that are like knives? The ones that are like knives. <laughs> I think those are supposed to be like knives. You okay. call them knives. You okay. don't have to come up with a new S word. Spider slime knife, uh, in his back and... Then the spider guy found out that Neji wasn't dead, so he made a giant bow uh, to kill him once and for all, I would assume. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're going to see what happens this episode. Support the official release. Watch on Crunchyroll or Netflix or other legal platforms. This is not a market substitute. Uh, we're not providing you the video for free. We're using it in this video to provide context for our content, our reaction and review. So we're support the official release. But with that, we're getting right into this. You can get four episodes ahead on Patreon for this show. And uh, a week ahead on all, uh, a bunch of our other shows. Not all of them. Obviously, the ones that are currently, currently airing don't apply. But go check that out. Get early on a bunch of our stuff and a bunch of exclusive content there on our Patreon as well. Patreon.com slash Bullcast. We're just getting right into this. Naruto episode uh, 117. Let's go. I became like Mr. Crocker there from Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> Fairies! <laughs> was Fairly Odd Parents just in Canada? Or was it everywhere? No, it was everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Butch Hartman. He actually became a YouTuber recently, like oh, in the last really? few years. Yeah. Where he does, like, uh, other characters in his style, like, from other cartoons or uh, anime. Or he did, like, uh, since his style has updated and it's more, like, his act, like, that all the, that show and Danny Phantom were all in his style. But, like, it was toned down so that it could be animated easily, easier. So he does, like, these really complicated, like, if Danny Phantom grew up, like, what would he look like if he grew up uh, 20 years from now or whatever. Silent title. Huh? What? <clears throat> that was close, but I was able to throw it off course a little. There's no mistake. He's caught on to the secret of the Byakugan. Huh? What's going on here? Just went through him. What gives? How could I miss it by 15 centimeters? His heart. <sighs> Surrounding himself with it. It was such a wide range. It's no wonder he sensed the arrow coming. He was able to throw off its trajectory. Mm. <laughs> it's gotta be killing him to keep expending chakra on that level. But if he doesn't keep it up, he won't be able to dodge. There's no doubt about it. And he's discovered the weakness behind my eyes. Impressive. Can't let him live now that he knows the secret. But for some reason, he wasn't able to evade a few of the kunai. Why couldn't he evade them? Of course, because he couldn't see them. Or rather, his seemingly perfect jutsu has a blind spot. So if one threading that needle. Whenever I see that, I think of, uh, like what, I wonder if what Hinata's blind spot looks like. Does she have multiple or is it wider? Hmm. Or like other Hyuga members. Because if Neji's supposed to be like a super badass, I wonder if that's for, the same for everyone. Your enemy, and you can't even think of approaching me right now. In the state you're in, all you can do is 
just run. It doesn't matter if you struggle or not. Either way, you're gonna die. Looks like you're almost out of chakra. The weakest one in the game always goes down first. <clears throat> it's useless. <laughs> Twenty percent. chance against my gentle fist attack. Gentle fist? Of course. He funneled the last of his chakra through the bread. Eight crows. <laughs> and again, I couldn't see one of them. <clears throat> Where is he? Paralyzed. It's just the three of us left now. I don't think you have to worry about that. Choji and Neji are gonna catch up in no time. Choji's got his trump card with him. And don't forget, I fought Neji in the tuning exam, so I know. You know what? That guy is a true genius. <laughs> I cannot lose, even if my enemy is far stronger, even if my body should fail me, I cannot lose. There is a reason, I cannot lose. He just got, a, got his movement back. Jesus. <laughs> let it drag on too long. No doubt. 100%. Should have used your bow at the beginning, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
It's so satisfying. bloodline trait flows stronger in you than in any other member of our clan. <laughs> but I will not die as easily as this. Go ahead, try all you want. There's no way you can stop it. It's too late. Sasuke Uchiha has fled to the sound village of his own free will. There is someone who can find him in the darkness and save him from this path. I don't care who it is. They can't save him. He will! Saved me from the darkness. <laughs> Talking rubbish right up to the end. <laughs> Go. I haven't been pushed this far since Kimi Maro. Kimi Maro. Those birds are shedding a lot. That's what you have to say about the episode. <laughs> that's I think that's literally the only thing you said the entire episode was these birds are <laughs> shedding a lot. <laughs> that's literally the only thing you said for 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think of that one? Definitely, for me at least, 
nowhere near as sad as Choji dying. Mm-hmm. Like, not, not even close at all. Why not, do you think? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe because Neji's backstory was kind of resolved a while back. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what, maybe it's just because with Choji, I wasn't expecting him to die, I guess. And I didn't really think that they would kill Neji, but at the same time, I was kind of ready for it. I was like, okay, maybe they will just kill off every, maybe this is the arc for just killing people off. Because they kind of surprised, they got the shock value with Choji, but then after that, it's just like. Then after that. It's sad, but it's the, the sort of novelty is kind of lost, do you think, or what? Yeah, like, if they just kill off, like, I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure maybe the last three won't get, I mean, obviously Naruto doesn't die, but. Either I feel like either Kiba or Shikamaru has to. So if they kill off literally everyone else, first of all, I don't think that they do. But if they do, that would be just dumb. Mm. They literally have an arc just for killing off. Who do you think is? Uh, who do you think will survive? Like based on who? Do you remember who you've seen? Or no, would you I rather? don't remember. Okay. I kind of think. I don't know. I just kind of want all, like both of them, to survive still because it it just seems. Like, yeah, killing off Choji, great. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> killing off Choji, great. 100% behind it. Fuck that guy. <laughs> no, I meant, like, from a... It was still really sad, and I wish that they didn't. But from a writing standpoint, it was really unexpected. Mm. And, uh, really... A, a really sad moment. But now they did it with Neji. So if they do it for a third time, then... You're not even gonna care at all by that point. You know what I mean? Why wouldn't you care? You only you only wouldn't care if you didn't care about the characters. That's the only well, reason why Kiba, you. Wouldn't care. I don't really care about Kiba. Well, that's fair, but <laughs> but you wouldn't care if Shikamaru died. Yeah, I would kind of care if Shikamaru died. You wouldn't feel sad if Shikamaru fucking died. Yeah, that would be kind of sad. But you don't care if that Neji died. I don't. I don't know why. I think I just never like. I didn't... Is it because you hated him initially, so then everything after that is poisoned by the fact that you were, when you introduced, you hated him, and you can't change your mind, because you can't... I just thought then he was just alright, hmm. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I guess his, his death just didn't really affect me, for multiple reasons, I suppose. W give me one. Give me a single reason. First of all, you were kind of half expecting it, because Choji just died. Okay. Uh, and then another reason would be I just didn't really have a, like, good, like, I, I didn't really feel, like, connected with the character of Neji or really... Do you know why? No. Do you have an idea of why or maybe want to explore that thought or, like, have something to say about I the think, episode? I think it's probably, like, with Choji, you kind of, like, right before... They're, like, talking a little bit about him, and, like, uh, he's, all, like, you know, it's like, huh, you should lose some weight. No one will like you. And then, and then we, like, in the fight, we get his entire backstory, which creates for, like, a, a really emotional thing. And then, because we've already seen Neji's backstory in a previous fight, we already kind of know about it, so them bringing it up again doesn't necessarily, for me at least... I don't find it super emotional for him to just be like, yeah, and then Naruto said this to me. Mm. And Naruto said this other thing to me. And Naruto also said this to me in our last fight. I do agree with you there. The, the, like, they did draw it out a lot. Like, it seems like the fight was, they did the thing where the fight is resolved and, like, there's a multi-episode -ep fight. And then the fight is resolved either at the midpoint of the final one and then, or like slightly before it. Yeah. And then the, the rest is like epilogue or setting up something else. And it, it, let's see like when it actually kind of was done. Oh, it was a little further than that actually. Once I'm like looking through it. Not quite actually. Yeah, it was about halfway through. Mm -hmm. About halfway through was the turning point and then there was the big explosive thing. Um, but if you just don't feel like connected to Neji, I guess that's just you. But yeah, uh, yeah I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, I just kind of hope that they don't necessarily do that again. Just ki kill off like both characters. Mm. Why not? 
Why would that, if, would that, what, what don't you like about that? Uh... If you just do that multiple times over and over again, then it, it's not like, like, but before it was like, oh my god, Choji is, like, really going all out, using his last moments mm -hmm. to, like, sacrificing himself so th for his friends. Mm -hmm. But if everyone does that, then it's no longer as impressive. Like, it's still... Is it not I as guess impressive? It's, I guess it's still really what about, impressive. I just don't, I don't understand don't what know. about, like, it happening here is less... Like, I get the shock value, but... I just don't understand why the shock value is the only thing holding you on to, like, the characters. If you weren't shocked by Choji, do you think you would care as much? I just, I just don't know. I don't, I don't get that. What would you like to see going forward in this arc? Um, I would, what, what I'm really excited to see is if they are able to intercept Sasuke. And I want, I'm excited to see what Naruto will have to say to Sasuke. Mm hmm and if Sasuke is gonna, like, after being trapped in this this little coffin thing mm -hmm. for, like, all, I, I don't know how, how long, like, a long time, if he'll have any regrets, if he'll be like, holy shit, I feel so much stronger, mm -hmm. Th this was 100% worth it, fuck you guys, mm. or, or if that, that will even happen, or if they'll just es escape, potentially. Are these or what you would want to happen? I guess it's things things that, that, things that I would be excited to see. Mm. Not necessarily what I what I, what I what I want is f like for some kind of conversation between uh, Naruto and Sasuke mm -hmm. to happen. Fair enough, but you aren't really enjoying the whole fight until we get there type thing, or like the chase. It seems like because that's kind of the whole point of the arc is the, is yeah. them chasing. I don't know. I think I, I maybe that fight just went on a bit long for me. Maybe it's that we took a break in the middle of the fight. Maybe yeah. Um, which maybe we shouldn't do for any previous uh, for any upcoming fights or whatever. Yeah, maybe not. Um, uh, because I feel like especially in this episode, it was just a lot of the fight was the spider guy just sort of like explaining the blind spot thing again. Yeah. Showing they had new like visuals for it of like the little like. I thought that they thing? did that earlier because that was that really that visual explanation really helped me understand what the fuck was going on with this fight because like I wish they showed it like when he first explained the blind yeah, spot and it, stuff. it felt like they were just re-explaining it but with a better visual and yeah. I was like oh that's cool but I, I already knew that now I have a bit more clarification of what that might look like yeah uh yeah I don't know I think that there were like multiple things that maybe led me to not enjoy this episode as much can you summarize those things one after another uh i think the fact that i didn't f feel as connected to neji uh because we had already sort of processed his uh backstory and his things and all that was going on like his main draw in this fight was talking about what naruto would do mm -hmm. um which is good but not sort of as strong uh of a connection as what was going on with Ch Choji, how Choji felt about Shikamaru mm -hmm. was definitely, like, how Neji feels about Naruto is very different than what Choji feels about Shikamaru. Yeah. Uh, so there wasn't as strong uh, of a he is my best friend ever who ba who made my life worth living. My whole life. You know what I mean? Because I had friends. Uh, and then the fact that we took a break in the middle of the fight and then when we came back to the fight it the they were just sort of explaining the same thing in a new way and firing off some arrows which was kind of cool uh but then but it it wasn't anything too crazy i did really like when neji uh did the gentle fist on the string mm. in the mouth. that was actually a really cool moment i really liked that I thought he was maybe gonna like <laughs> yank him a, yank like him. a thousand but he yards was so away. So far away. He was so far away. I don't think I realized last time how okay, far away he was. Okay, so that's two was. things. And then I also think taking a break. You said that was the second oh. thing. I guess I kind of combined that with the fact that like the episode had like some some what? recap of the same thing oh, just yeah. told in a different way yeah to me the the whole thing with neji like this was sort of the completion of his his arc in that way i didn't i didn't come i didn't necessarily like i i don't know i could see that you would conclude it obviously 
when at the tuning exams but the fact that he was still a character and like that he had changed his mindset i feel i feel like this is the natural step in that and if you were going to conclude it like having him move forward with the mind with the the thing that changed his mind Mm -hmm. i guess it just depends on whether you're attached to neji i don't know why you wouldn't be because i don't know i was but i do understand that like the blow is kind of soft here um but yeah i do think it was pretty sad and i do think it's a big loss for the for the do you really for the village and for the like their team and just in general uh the most like the guy who has like the best gift of his clan Mm. being killed at such a young age yeah on this bullshit mission that they were too young to even be going on in the first place is kind of is kind of tragic yeah it kind of sucks ass what the fuck was shizune's squad doing out there anyway that's what i and that's what i was thinking as well i was like (laughs) okay they were out there they knew that there were some murderous guys out there and they were just like hmm they didn't know there were some murderous guys out there i mean after they got almost killed yeah, well, then they had to take care of their yeah, squad. Yeah, I guess they had to take care of them, but it's it's just, it sucks. This whole situation sucks that there's so few people in the village that no, no one else c- could be sent after to help out. Because imagine if so- someone else had been sent out and had, like, met up with Choji or met up with Neji along the way mm-hmm. and was able to even just, like, he- not even continue going after, just heal them and bring them back, you know? Yeah. And sort of get the whole story of, like, how many more people are out there where what where kind of are they going you know it it is just a really tragic situation for all these kids to have to go and save their friend Mm -hmm. all right we'll see you in the next one i'm carson i'm Lindsay. bye-bye and thank you to all of our patrons especially those in the student council zenge john ortega aurora lewis chris shanve nelson barbosa kage uzumaki dreadful xr brian handicap bonkai d23l charles liu brian michael wells king mr mew rifleman z51 brandon bruce fallow mord tarragon alfonso renozo josh carey gray jordan angu lolly convict (laughs) takamasa baba vanity redacted Redacted. Josue Gonzalez. Zachary Pora. Mohammed Burren Ahmed. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one.